Not everyone has the luxury of fully renovating their space to make it their own personality, like renters. And I mean, not everyone is comfortable taking on that huge renovation either. So I thought it would be a really cool idea to bring you guys this tutorial. Today we're gonna take one of the most used spaces in our homes, our kitchen, and I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to make it your own style, your own personality. So I wanna thank my good friends at Cricut for sponsoring today's video. You know, a lot of peel and stick tile out there is quite generic, so I thought, what better way to make exactly what you want in the color you want than with a Cricut? So stay tuned and let's uh, get to making over my kitchen. The star of today's makeover is the Cricut Explore 3. It can cut over 100 plus materials, including everything from iron-on, vinyl, and paper to fun things like glitter paper, cork, and bonded fabric. It also has the ability to draw and score using a scoring stylus. So whether I'm using it for gift making or even just putting the dog's name on their food bowls, I think that this one is such a great investment. For today's video, I wanted to upgrade my kitchen by creating a fun, easy to remove backsplash. I pulled a few inspo images from the internet and ended up settling on this like half moon design. The first step to getting started is to decide how big do you want your tile to be overall. I love the look of a five and a half inch tile, so that's what I settled on. The setup of this machine is super easy for all DIYers alike. And with Cricut Design Space on desktop and mobile, you can design and make from anywhere. The possibilities are seriously endless with what you can create, from labels to birthday cards. So let me walk you through the basic steps here of creating our tile cutouts. We're gonna start down here with clicking on this little shapes button. When you click that, a bunch of shapes will pop up and we're going to start with the square since our tiles are square. Now we're gonna go up here to the top and we're gonna choose our tile size. So remember earlier when I decided I wanted them to be five and a half, well I also want them to be five and a half tall. So they're gonna be a perfect square. I did some pre-measurements and I'm gonna need about 80 tiles to do all of this wall. So I'm going to duplicate our tile. We're gonna do two tiles side by side. To create the actual design, I'm going back to our shapes menu, clicking on a circle and putting that circle between the two tiles. This is how we're going to create that half moon shape. I made sure that the circle was actually a little bit smaller than our square tiles, just so that we can get that edge down at the corner to keep with the look that we're going for. And then really the last step here would be to select all of our shapes. And then if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you will see this attach button. We're going to attach all of our shapes together so that they're on one layer. And this essentially will make it easy to duplicate our tiles because like I said, we need about 80 of these. Once you have all of your tiles laid out, we can go ahead and create our project. Now I've decided to use the removable smart vinyl. This is because it keeps our project renter friendly. And I decided to do my tiles in a black. I just really love black lately. When loading your vinyl, make sure that your vinyl falls under those teeth. And then you can go ahead and press the load button. This will make sure that you have enough vinyl in your Cricut to do your project. Then you can press play and watch all the fun begin. So this is going to cut out all 80 of our tiles and it will just take a little bit, but it's definitely fun to watch. The most satisfying part is peeling off our project. I love this. So this is what each of our tiles will end up looking like. I think it's a really great size and I'm excited to put them up in the kitchen. When you go to apply your tiles, what I've decided to do is keep a little bit off the edges. I want it to seem as though there's actually grout in these tiles. So you'll notice that on my first tile, I'm not putting it directly under the cabinet or beside the cabinet. After that, take your Cricut scraper and just make sure there are no air bubbles in your tile. The less air bubbles, the better. It will look more like tile and less like vinyl. When you go ahead and add all of your next tiles, you're gonna line it up. Make sure again, you still have that grout that's showing. This is what it, you know, this is what's gonna make it look realistic is having a little bit of that line and having them perfectly symmetrical you know what i mean if you get to a spot where you have too much tile just take an exacto knife and cut off the excess it's really as simple as that that's what's so, so nice about vinyl because it's so thin it's very very easy to cut so now you get to watch me lay everything on 
and you'll also notice let me just add i'm going a little bit below my stove i want this to look like tile i don't want to just stop at the stove so i am when i get to the bottom there blending it a little bit under which i think makes it look more realistic so enjoy this montage of me putting this tile on it took me a lot longer than it looks in this video but i'm really happy with the outcome Something that really bugged me was this white grout line. So I took some of the excess black vinyl that I had and I sort of made my own grout with it. I think that this really just tied the look together and made it look really crisp. I'm so glad I did that. Um, of course, uh, I, I would have put black grout if I were tiling. So I just think it was a really great addition. So from a kitchen with zero personality to something that honestly I am so proud I created, I love this. There are so many different shapes and designs and tiles and colors of vinyl that you could do this with. The possibilities seriously are endless. I know I've said that before. I hope today you guys learned that it doesn't always take power tools to make a huge difference in a space. If any of you guys try this, please tag me. I would love to see it. Also, thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.